Welcome to my channel, now for something different. Behind me here are some Death Star light panels that I've installed. And if you're interested in how I made these, keep watching. I got these from a company, um, the panels, the MDF panel, I got these from a company called Lee's Workshop. So I've got to uh, give them a shout out and thank them for um, supplying me these uh, MDF panels that were pre-cut. You don't have to do that. You can buy the MDF panels and cut them out yourself. But for time constraints, I decided to buy some. Um, they did cost me £90, which I think is about $95, $100 depending on the exchange rate at the time this video goes out. Um, but that's what I wanted to do, and that's what I've done. The rest of it, I completed all myself. Now, for this project, obviously, MDF panels. You want some wood to make the frame for the panel that goes up there and along and down. Some French cleats that connect to the top, to, to the back wall and to the top of the frame. Uh, French cleats are just two pieces of metal that overlap, so you basically hang one onto the other. Um, some mylar roll to make the effect, as you can see there. And RGB lights along with all your drills and glue. I used uh, Gorilla Glue. Um, but yeah, so let's do this. So here we have the pre-cut MDF panels and I will be using uh, warm pewter as the colour to paint these panels. Let's do it. Here are the panels all painted up. I'm in the process of fitting on to the panels the frame um, which I've bought uh, this wood here. Um, this, is, this works for me. Um, so I've got that upside down, do apologise. Um, yeah, this, this works for me. Um, there you go, you can see um, what it is there. Um, so let me take you outside and just give you a quick run up as to what I'm doing. Okay, so here we are outside. So these are the wood I'm cutting up. Um, obviously here's the panels here. So the wood will fit on, um, I've actually marked, to show you this, I've actually marked on here. Um, that's the size of the wood that goes on there, like that. So I know where to, where, where, where to glue it. Okay, so I've marked it on the back there. Um, so I'm gonna be fitting the wood like that uh, there. But before the wood gets fitted, I'm gonna put some uh, mylar film it's called. Well, I bought a roll of a mylar blue. It's called film. That's gonna that's gonna go go over the back there. Um, so this is how I'm doing it. I've measured measured them. What I need. Uh, I've got some clamps on there, uh, which I've marked there. What I'm gonna cut. So that's the framework that I'm in the process of doing at the moment. Um, after that, um, I will be um, putting the film on the. Um, I, what I'm going to do is put two of the smaller um, uh, pieces of wood um, on the top there, I believe, um, and then I'm going to put the mylar tape, uh, sorry, mylar roll um, down there on that and on uh, these here, two of those together. Okay, so here's a big one. So this is the last one panel. So there, as you can see, I've cut it to the size that I want it. Um, all I do now is I'm popping it on with no nails and uh, it will be around the sides like that on the edges um, to complete. Okay, so as you can see, I put the, cut the, uh, mylar um, film uh, to fit over the holes the size I want it um, as you can see here 
I've um, that's where the wood's going to to go on. So I've marked it so I don't go over there. So that that will get a good good uh, stick onto it for the frame. Um, it's quite easy really. That that's the roll there. All I'm using is a pair of scissors, um, and it looks rather awesome, I think. Okay, so that's the finished product without the uh, RGB lights fitted um, or the um, uh, frame fitted. Uh, that's the Miler Roller Miler, um, and uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I think it's uh, turned out really well. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's now time to put the frame on. Um, I'm doing it in two halves of one panel. So I'm using this glue, Gorilla. Um, so I'm doing one side, so I'll put good glue all down there and holding it with two clamps. And in the end there, putting a screw just to keep it all together okay so uh, yeah so here we are with all the wood fitted okay and I'll put some additional um, strips along here which these are uh, parts of uh, a window blind um, so these are where the joins are um, so I've just put these in for added strength Okay, and then with the RGB lights, they will go up there, around, down, around, and down. And in the end here, I've cut the wood um, that should leave a gap that I can put the wire of the RGB lights out here, hopefully. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the panel in place I've just got the lights to fit onto it okay so what I've done I've as you can see I've run the strip lights up uh, round and down each section as you can see okay well, they're all nicely down and what I've done here obviously the gap wise go through through here which sticks out the side quite nicely you know hidden away there um, so that is the whole death panel completed. Okay, there we are. I have now finished, and here we are. Death Star wall panel lights. Looking absolutely awesome. Really pleased with the outcome. Okay, there's the other one. Um, that's hand solo in carbonate. As you can see, it's just a cardboard cutout. This is uh, my setup um, with the light panels. Um, yeah, so really, really, really good. A nice little project to do. Uh, very easy. But uh, yeah, there we go. Death Star wall panels. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Please like and subscribe for more content. And uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for dropping by and uh, may the force be with you or not.